Anthony. It's the highest rated segment in the Sweats history. Put up your bukes with Steve Buchanan, DraftKings contributor, and uh, Nick Fryer as well in the house. So Nick's either going to agree with Steve's favorite MLB DFS play at the following positions or pivot to another. Uh, bukes, put them up, dude. Who's your pitcher of choice? Let's talk about Pablo Lopez. This is somebody who was supposed to pitch yesterday against the Red Sox. The Marlins are like, eh, you know what? Let's give you a cupcake matchup against the Rockies instead at home, which is very important because Pablo Lopez has been so much better in Miami, really all throughout his career. And that's continued over this season as well. He has an ERA under one at home this season. Now he's getting a Rockies team who... Spoiler alert, when they're on the road, they don't really hit that well. They have some of the worst offensive numbers in the league on the road this season. A 60 WRC plus a 100 isolated power. I mean, it just gets worse and worse. You see somebody like Pablo Lopez, who is only 8,700 going tonight against them, getting a massive discount probably because he was scheduled to pitch yesterday. So you should not be getting him at 8,700. He feels underpriced. He's going up against a very bad offense. So Pablo Lopez is one of my top pitchers on this slate uh nick how are we feeling about pablo lopez well i like lopez against the red sox yesterday that's why i told everybody to take his k prop so i mean against the rockies of course i'm going to say yes to that but if i'm just picking one eight pitcher over 8k then i'm going to go with alex wood today because he's going up against the rangers i know he had a brutal outing last time out and that followed up a subpar outing but he has it was a 12.8 swing and strike rate and he's generating a lot of swing and misses on pitches out of the zone and uh, the giants the middle of the pack in going out and uh, swing and missing that pitches out of the zone um, over the last couple of weeks. Uh, I'm sorry, the Rangers, excuse me. Um, but the Rangers are also 27th in OPS against left-handed pitching over the last two weeks, 28th in ISO. Um, they're not striking out like crazy, but if you look at what the Rockies are doing against right-handed pitching, it's kind of in the same ballpark. So this, either way, I feel like you're still able to get strikeouts because you're dealing with two guys who've been racking up throughout the season. But I like Wood at a little bit of a cheaper price. I'm um, going up against a Rangers team that is not doing anything against left-handed pitching. Uh, Bukes, what's up, dude? Why are you rolling your eyes? I mean, I was just trying to take in all that information from Nick. You're not, you know, commentating a horse race. Slow down and get your information out, and maybe people can understand. I have never met somebody so nitpicky in my life. Are you still bitter about what happened last week? I got right about Jock. You laughed about Jock Peterson. I was right about that one. And then I I got you on on Perez versus Moncada, too. So are you a little upset? Emerson. Do you look at these amateurs who, who, you know, are happy about their victories? You go in, you take your victories in silence because this is your job. You don't have to okay. celebrate. Let's move Thanks. on. Thanks, Dad. I appreciate it. Got it. Okay. All right. Yeah, just so you know, uh, producer Slate's behind the scenes will now be keeping score on this segment every oh, week. Put up awesome. your bukes, infielder. Who you got? Let's talk about Reese Hoskins over with the Phillies. He gets like a pretty good matchup today against Mr. Drew Smiley. Who likes to give up home runs? And he doesn't just give up like, you know, one here, one there. They usually always come in bunches. So now we have Reese Hoskins, who is always a massive power threat going against lefties this season, past seasons, all throughout his career. When we look at his numbers for this year, 439 Woba, 288 isolated power with four of the uh, 12 home runs that he's hit so far this season. I think this is a great matchup for him on a slate that's so big. You look at somebody like Reese Hoskins, might not jump out at you, but you know, stacking this whole Phillies team against Drew Smiley is something I'll be looking to do as well. But Reese Hoskins is definitely going to be the centerpiece of that stack. Him and JT Road Muto, definitely the guys you want to be looking at in this one. But Reese Hoskins, my top end fielder for the slate. Okay, Nick, you agree with that? We got a full 15 game slate. Reese Hawkins, is that the way to go? I mean, every time, anytime Reese Hoskins is brought up, I'm always going to be entertaining that. But look, against uh, left-handed pitching over the last couple of weeks, he's not doing as well as he normally does. But I, you know, going against Smiley, he's obviously a guy who's easy to target. And I have a bat that I think will go up against great against him. But I like Carlos Santana at a little bit of cheaper price going up against Andrew Heaney. He's been better against left-handed pitching over the last couple of weeks. In general, he hits left-handed pitching well. And I know Heaney is coming off of a good outing, but – I mean, we saw that that didn't really mean anything because over the last month, he was absolutely brutal. So I, I'm comfortable targeting him. Um, and then again, you're saving a little bit if you're going with Santana over Hoskins. Bukes, do you like in the outfield? Jesse Winker. I mean, look, it's not just because he hit three home runs in his last game which, by the way, gave you 50 DraftKings fantasy points. Sometimes I don't even reach 50 DraftKings fantasy points for my lineup in total. So that was a good score if, if you took him on Sunday. 
But you look at this matchup tonight against Adrian Hauser. You look at his career numbers, talking about Adrian Hauser against lefties. They are absolutely abysmal. So you get someone like Jesse Winker, who's just absolutely locked in at the plate. 17 home runs on the season for Jesse Winker. And all he's been doing, all season long is mashing right-handed pitching. And there should be no reason why he can't do that again tonight. You look at his numbers. All he has is a 495 Woba, a 366 isolated power, and 16 of those 17 hole runs. For someone like Adrian Hauser, who not only struggles against lefties, but struggles to keep the ball in the park, there's no reason why Jesse Winker, who is only 4,600, by the way, that feels like an on-sale price, shouldn't be in your lineup in the outfield. Yeah, and that's $500 more expensive than he was the night he had that 50-point outing. Uh, Nick, what do you think about Jesse Winker here? I mean, he's the most obvious pick of the slate. And you, Steve brought up what he did last time with his three home runs. Last time that he faced Winker, I'm pretty sure he hit three home runs in that game too. I don't know. I feel like somebody on this show said to pick him that day. I don't know who it was. I can't remember. Who was it? Either Come way, I, I, I'm not sure. It might have been me. I don't know. I don't have standards. You use know, bicycle yeah. gears to figure Either. it out. I just don't. I just don't want it. Well, Steve, you just said don't, don't, don't say who did it. Who, don't talk about your picks, and I don't want to brag. But anyways, yeah, Winker's a no-brainer tonight. I guess uh, one I like, thing right. I like I, uh, that's three now for keeping for the producers keeping track behind the scenes. Yeah. Um, Get this but, guy a raise. That would be great. Um, <laughs> He's not going to complain about that. <laughs> you want to be my agent too, Steve? Uh, but uh, Andrew McCutcheon is another bat that I would target in the outfield. Look, you got to have Winker in your life. There's no doubt about it. But Andrew McCutcheon, um, he's mashing lefties this season, and he's taken Smiley deep twice uh, in seven chances. 4.3K. Look, Winker is an absolute steal at that price, but I'm just trying to help you guys round out your outfield. But, yeah, Winker is the, ult- the absolute lock of the night. And then uh, real quick here on value, Steve. Yeah, Ryan Mountcastle over with the Orioles. He has been absolutely on fire over his past six games. Four home runs in that span, three doubles, nine RBI. And he is someone that does so much better against lefties than he does against righties. So tonight he goes up against Peterson of the Mets. So if you're looking for some value, somebody who feels vastly underpriced because that hasn't caught up with how well he's been hitting, 3,600 tonight, eligible at first base and the outfield. Again, no brainer on this one. Uh, quickly, Nick. I was looking at Tom Murphy, but then when Steve goes and tells me he's going Ryan Mountcastle, he has been mashing since mid-May. He's got a 1.10 OPS since, I think, May 15th. And he's obviously, Steve says he does well against left-handed pitching, but he's been crushing righties yes. of late, too. So even against the bullpen, yeah, Mountcastle is another good pick uh, as a value bat tonight.